Kailan nga yung Chemtech Board exam? Sa October. Uh, May 30 ngayon, di ba? So we have uh, months na gugugulin bago ang action na board exams. So just to give you an insight, ano yung programs na ino-offer ng Quantum Review Center? We have four. So, Chemist Review, Chemical Technician, Chemical Engineer, and NMAT. So, out of the four, ma'am, ano po yung pinakamadali daw makakapagsabi? Uh, may ganun pinakamadali dyan. Kasi they have their own degree of difficulty uh, araw. Kung tatanungin nyo ako kung ilang araw ang bawat exam, ang NMAT isang araw, Chemtech isang araw, Chemist dalawang araw, Chemical Engineer tatlong araw. So, kung gusto nyo i-judge your difficulty based sa next ng exams, yun yung length ng no? exams. Lahat yan ay sa October magkaganap. Okay, although yung chem -Eng at ENMA twice a year, the chemist and the chem tech licensure exams, ano lang pa, once a year na. So, every October siya ngayon. Okay? So, what will be the review routine or format? Uh, dito sa gagawin natin na uh, chem tech review. In fact, kayo ang unang physical class ngayon review period namin. Kasi, uh, alam naman natin na current situation, we have a pandemic, so we created uh, new review formats to cater naman yung students namin from the Zon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So what will be, you will be receiving the, the regular Quantum Review Center review format. So we will be giving you the review guide. So I'll be telling you the parts of the review guide later. Uh, unang portion ng review na kuha na natin kanina, the diagnostic exam, malalaman nyo ang scores mamaya. So, kung excited na kayo, mamaya lang, malalaman nyo agad ang scores ninyo. 50 items yun, 70% ang passing. Tatandaan nyo ha? Huwag malungkot kung ang score ay malayo sa passing. Kaya nga tayo magre-review, di ba? Para makagain kayo ng knowledge, ng confidence before the actual board exams. So, ang kailangan nyo paghandaan ng mock exams. Why? The questions we're giving you in all of the uh, sample tests, uh, questions, lahat ng exams na ibibigay namin, they mimic or they mirror the actual. So kung magaling ka sa review, <laughs> might as well magiging magaling ka rin sa actual na exam. Kasi nga, may mga, may mga, may mga questions dyan na halos ka mga ng actual na board exams. And then later, Sir Lowell will be giving you your first set of practice tests and I will be giving you instructions later for your practice test booklets. So, ginagawa natin to para lahat recorded. Para alam natin yung progress nyo from start to finish. And then, at the end of our program, after natin mag-take ng mock exams, magkakaroon tayo ng intensive final coaching session. Para sa to? Sa ibang review center, tawag class nila dito ay refresher. So, para malaman natin kung ano pa yung mga lessons na you need to refresh on or yung kailangan pang i-reiterate na lessons sa inyo. So, I present to you our review format. So, ito magaganap. Wala ngayon hanggang sa huling araw ng review natin. Now, the review guide. Many students, many enrollees really want this. Okay, ito yung kumbaga isa sa mga selling points daw na nagustuhan nila. What is the review guide? So we have each, uh, we have a different review guide for a different review program. So this is our review guide for the Chemtech Review, second edition. Kasi last year yung first edition namin. So ano ang contents niyan? So we have four main areas. So, when you receive yours later, there's a name there, may number, may student number ninyo, tsaka pangalan ninyo. And then, first page should be the table of contents for the first subject area, inorganic and analytical chemistry. So, magkakaroon kayo ng trip down memory lane sa mga naging subjects nyo noon, kung kailan kayo na gen chem, uh, general chemistry ng no high school or college. So, malalaman nyo guys yung mga lessons nyo dati. And then, for each page, there's a watermark. So, sa in sa copy ninyo, there will be your name. So, buong pangalan nyo. Kaya hinihin namin kina Sir Mike yung class list. So, we would know uh, how to personalize your review guide. So, yes, color yan. So, everyone, i-distribute namin yan bago tayo magsimala. Okay? Uh, Ma'am, pwede mong sulatan yung review guide? Yes, inyo na to. So, if you want to take down notes, kumari, ito yung lesson mamaya, magsalat kayo dyan. Kung may notebook kayo, ganun din. Pwede kayo magsalat sa notebook. And then for the second subject area, this is very important. Kasi Chemtech kailangan may gantong topic, quality assurance and quality control. So for the inorganic analytical, Sir Lowen will handle this. It's uh, Ma'am Lara. And then for QAQC, si Sir Jonel ang maghahandle niya. Okay, so ayan. So this is where I think most of you makaka-relate sa mga lessons or topics na to. And then for our third subject area, 
laboratory technique safety and precautions. So we assume, madami din uh, makakarelate sa inyo sa mga topics na yan. Hati-hati kami sa pag-discuss ng topics na yan. So it's important class na every every week meron kayong binabasa sa review guide uh, para prepared, para hindi magugulat kung ano bang aasahan na review. Kasi uh, bukod sa mga techniques na alam nyo na based from your work, concepts. The concepts behind them are really, really important. Okay, they matter in the exam. So, sa exam, kahit na, ah, alam ko tong gamitin tong equipment na to. Sa exam kasi, kailangan niya principle behind. Okay, for example, let's say, spectroscopy. Everyone here, I guess, knows how to use a very simple UVB spectrophobometer. However, the principle behind how the instrument gets the response, okay, the methods included, we all have to know them before the uh, actual board exams. And for the last part, that's organic chemistry. I'll be handling this one. So, nag-organic naman siguro lahat tayo ng no, college, no? Baka nalimutan nila. O kinalimutan nyo. Okay? Kasi para sa iba, mahirap daw to itong lesson na to. Pero tingnan natin. Okay? Most of my students say na kapag naturo na yung lesson, gumagaan naman daw for them. Okay? So, I'll be handling this subject, uh, this subject area in our review. And towards the last page of our review guide, you will see here a list of references, the books we use. So, ma'am, do we have to read books? It's up to you guys. But we recommend, we do suggest and recommend na encourage them, our enrollees, to read books. So, if you can download them uh, online, good. Okay, so kung meron kayong mga old copies ng books siya dati, okay, you can also use them. Now, sa review guide ninyo, hanggang dyan, itong copy ang dala ko ay example kapag kinumpile natin lahat ng magiging practice test slash quizzes sa buong review. So, mamaya, ang mare-receive ninyo, wala ka to. You will receive this uh, one by one. For example, lecture one is our low when tapos na siya. And then, quiz number one or practice test number one yun na. So, you compile this. If you want na kami yung mag-bind, dalhin nyo lahat ng ganito nyo, i-compile ninyo. Then, we will bring uh, our binder para ma-bind natin siya. So, this will be your complete review guide plus practice tests. So, ganun kakapal yung practice test kasi madami yan. So, uh, every review day, may dalawa at least kayo na practice test. Nasasagutan. Uh, time yan. I-explain namin ni Sir Lowen kung paano uh, yung, ano yung mga tips namin sa pagkasagot ng practice test. Okay? So, ito guys ang uh, review guide natin. So, iingatan natin to ha. Don't worry pag nabasayan, hindi naman mawawala ang tip. Okay? They surprinted naman lahat ng review guide. So, as long as iingatan nyo rin na uh, yung own copy ninyo. So, we want you guys to always read this. Are we clear? Read this, take care of this, and bring this during review. So, para pag nagtuturo ang teacher, na gusto kayong tingnan uh, na is illustration or paragraph, meron kayo nito. Okay? So, mukhang malino tayo sa review guide. Also, do not photocopy this. Kung meron kayong uh, friend, kakilala uh, sa ibang company or kakilala nyo na kasi classmate nyo before na magtitake ng board exam at gusto makalibre or makatipid, do not ever lend your copy. Mayroon kong dito nakalagay na no part of this review guide may be reproduced without certain permission of quantum review center Los Banyos na guna. Okay, so I hope that is clear na hindi nyo pwede ipahiram. Kaya may pangalan bawat review guide. Malalaman Pwede namin matrace kung kanino nang gali kasi buong pangalan niya yung nakasulat nila. Okay, so I think we're clear with that. And then, eto ang uh, table of contents na apat na subject areas sa review guide natin. And then, how, how, how will you know your scores? Okay, pwede namin dalhin to next Saturday yung scorecard ninyo. Ano ang nakasulat? I'll give you an example. So Lizette was our former Chemtech reviewee last year. Ito ang kanyang scores sa kanyang diagnostic exam. 82%, 64%, with an average. Mapalo po yung average siya? 50. Okay, 50 each. One is to one ratio ng dalawang subject. With an average of 73%. Class, kung yung exam na yan ay totoong Chemtech board exam, papasa ba si Lizette? Si Ms. Arcelias? Yes, papasa siya. Kasi 70% ang requirement ng PRC. However, after the review, so, pag uh, huling-huling araw mock exams, look at the increase. 82 to 89, 64 to 86, average of 87.5. And in fact, she was included in the top 10, okay, last year. Okay, siya yung pang number 10. Mga lima ata sila nagtay sa number 10. Dalawa doon sa jante namin. Uh, Lizette Sahar Arcelias 
is a uh, chem and graduate of UP Los Baños. In fact, uh, matagal ko nagsamahan namin kasi sadyante ka pa siya since UPCAT oh, review. Okay, high school pa siya nun bago siya mag-college. So, ito ang pare-receive ninyong class kapag uh, nakuha na natin yung scores of diagnostic tsaka mock ninyo. Remarks, mapas lang po ba ang nakalagay dyan? Kapag ito ay less than 70, walaan nyo. Anong inalagay namin dito? Fail. Actually, hindi kami pwede maglagay ng para matotong exam yan. Ang inalagay namin ay needs improvement. Okay. Para nakakagaan ng loob, di ba? So, kailangan pang mag-improve. Okay? Kasi there's room for improvement. Kasi ma uh, hindi naman uh, pagkatapos ng exam natin, bukas exam na, hindi mahaba pa. Mahaba pa. Malaki pa ang pagkakataon na maka-improve pa kayo ng malaki bago ang action na board exams. Kaya kapag nakalagay ay needs improvement, uh, dapat mag improve talaga tayo bago ang action na board exams. Okay? So, ano ang itsura habang nagpa-practice test? Parang kamukha ka nila nagdo-diagnostic kayo. Okay? So, it's very similar. May time. Okay? May time limit tayo. So, this, for example, is uh, uh, an example of a practice test. So, title, and then the number of items, and the time required. Ma'am, bakit may time? Ba't hindi na lang pag sinabi ni teacher, no, sige, mamaya na, tapos na. Kailangan talaga mas may time. Bakit? No, actual exam kasi may oras din. So, we want to practice your speed in answering. Okay? So, the exam is time. So, might as well, during practice, may time din tayo na sinusunod. Okay? So, please follow the time and then answer. Ma'am, where do we answer? Saan po kami magsasagot? Wala na kayong answer sheet kamukha nung kanina. Kasi exam nung kanina. Dito kayo magsasagot sa practice test book rin. So, you'll be, you will be having two. So, meron tayong dalawang subject. So, mamaya, ito ang gagamitin ninyo. So, ito ang practice test booklet para sa analytical camp, quality assurance and quality control. Blankohan nyo lang yung column na to kasi si teacher ang magkusulat na score. Okay, kunwari, naka 10 over 10 ka mamaya. Wow! O, oh, ba So, perfect score. Uh, Mamang score ko ay 2 over 10. O, alam mo na, ibig sabihin ng 2 over 10. Kailangan mag-improve mag mag ka pa. Kasi in every practice test, paano natin malalaman na natuto, natuto ka or okay ka with the lesson? 70% and above. That will be our numerical requirement. Okay? So, kapag 10 item yung quiz, sana baka 7 and above tayo. Pag naka 1, naku, baka bigla kayo umuwi, ha? wala uuwi. Okay? Pag naka 1 or naka 2 kayo, kasi chasakan niya rin yan eh. Okay? So, the, the, the teacher will tell you the answers and the solutions. So, yung learning natin, it will happen there. Sa kung saan mo kayo nakaupo, mangyayari dapat siya dyan. Hindi mamaya, hindi bukas, hindi sa isang araw. Kailangan habang nagtuturo ang teacher, nakukuha ninyo. Okay? Now, blank po yan. Doon kayo magkusulat. So, number your paper from 1 to 10. Mga pwede ba mag-scratch? Pwede, pwede. Kasi inyo to. Okay? So, at the end of the review period, kukunin niyo to sa amin. Okay, and make sure na pag mapagkakasya nyo, konti na naman ang problem solving natin, hindi masyadong madami. Okay, so pagkasyahin nyo lahat ng practice test dyan, um, most, most students naman kasi ang gagawin lang 1 to 10, tapos konting sulat dyan. Kaya magkakasya yan sa lahat ng practice test. So, ang susulat nyo lang class dito, kukopay nyo yung reviewing number, galing sa review guide nyo, and then section, lagay nyo ay 4A. Okay, ma'am, bakit po 4? Kasi 4, ang Chemtech, ito yung pang-apat na review program na ino-offer namin. One para sa Chemist, two para sa Edmat, three para sa Chemtech, four para sa Chemtech. Just so, if you're wondering, A, kasi kayo yung unang-una section. Then, buong pangalan. All cap, surname, given name. Okay? Yun lamang po, kasi kami na ang bahala sa scores. For organic laboratory techniques, safety and precautions, we have a separate test booklet. Okay. Sa Sabado, next Saturday, ako yon. So, ako na uh, uh, organic naman yung lesson natin. Dito naman tayo, magkusunat na uh, mga sagot natin. So, for our uh, for our other review programs, mas madami silang booklets. For example, ito, Pakem and Pong. Kasi madami silang uh, topics. Mas marami silang lessons na kasama sa board exams nila. Sa inyo may nakalagay din. So, organic camp 1, organic camp 2, Okay, para alam natin kung anong test na tayo. And kapag nakita nyo guys yung scores dito, okay, kita nyo yung progress ninyo. Okay, kung puro matataas ang score, good. Kung medyo nasa mababa yung scores, ibig sabihin, mag improve pa yun. So, sa buong araw ng review, ito magaganap. We have two sessions, AM and PM. So, lecture 1, practice test 1, discussion of practice test 1. So, may test. 
after each topic or chapter. Sa hapon, ganun din. So makikita natin na hindi lang tayo puro lecture. Makikita ninyo na kasagutan nyo kaagad yung quiz na susukatin. May tutunan ninyo based doon sa lecture na yun. Okay, so sana walang matutulog, sana walang uh, walang uh, hindi makikinig. Kung pag lahat makikinig tayo sa lecture. By the way, kapag nakalapin, mas dinig ba kami sa likod? Mas dinig ba ako sa likod? Okay, kasi ganito, ganito yung plano namin na gawin for the entirety of the lesson. Okay, so tandaan nyo ha, ito ang ating review proper every day na yan ng review natin. Okay, so let me give you a glimpse ano ba ang nangyari sa results namin last year. Ito ang list ng passers and pagpatchers namin for the chemical technician licensure exam review. Actually, naglagay ako ng brochure doon sa review grade ninyo para ma-inspire kayo. Okay? Source of inspiration yan. Sa mga fresh grads, source of inspiration nila kasi gusto na ma-print yung pangalan nila. Okay? Whether sa PowerPoint man yan or sa Facebook ilalagay, ano yan, source of recognition yan para sa kanila. Okay? Kahit hindi kayo fresh grad, I think this could also motivate you. Okay? The license itself, maybe a promotion in the near future, your name there, okay, yung pagpasag, getting the license, all of that should be your motivating, uh, your immune pang motivate sa inyo. Okay, to do better sa review at para sa exams. So, ito ang mga nag-top, ito mga top measures namin last year. Ang pinakamataas na nakuha ng, mga, ng isa sa mga sujate namin ay second place. This is Jebris Clavato. Siya ay graduate from UP Visayas, of course, sa IPS Chemistry. So, ito mga to ay either BS Chem or Chemic ang courses nila sa mga nag-top. 13, 13 lahat, labing tatlo ang mga nag-top sa amin last year. At ang total namin na passing rate last year, you're wondering, we got 96% passing rate. Okay, so we're actually proud of a high passing rate in the Chemtech Board exams. So, denominate ng quantum students ang uh, listahan ng top lecture ng Chemtech Board exams. Not only that, also in the Chemist, yung sinasabi nilang mas mahirap ng kaunti na exam. Okay, the campus board exam was also dominated by our students because five of them, top one, top two, top seven, top eight, top nine, yes, dalawang si kinuha ni Jeffries. Okay, kabuha siya ng campus siya kaunti, kaya siya ay may dalawang pangalan siya. Okay, so here is our list of top touchers last year, both sa camp and camp tech. Umalay niyo, is sa inyo mapunta dito. Ah, diba? Hindi natin alam. Baka may, may iba sa inyo na maging magaling ang performance sa review. Hindi siya impossible, guys. Hindi. Okay. If you're wondering kung lahat pa itong mga to ay magaling na simula ng review, hindi lahat. Okay. Siguro kung nagsipag sila during the review and before the board exams. Alright? So, just to give you the numbers that we have. So, since 2017, uh, the first section of our CAM review, 2018, Uh, meron na kaming chem, chemtech, at saka chem ang dito. Ito ang total number of passers namin. So currently, the, the most number of passers belongs to our registered chemical technicians. Okay, and we hope that the number will increase ngayong taon at sa mga susunod pa na mga taon. Okay, so kaya nga nasabi ko kanina, merong apat na teachers na mag-guide sa inyo for the entire review. So, ako ito, Michelle Bincolado. I'm a registered chemist, finished my bachelor's and master's degrees in UP Los Banos. Junel Francisco, he's, uh, he actually belongs to our alpha batch ng chem. Siya ay isa sa mga unang uh, sasyante namin sa chem review. Also a graduate of UP Los Banos. Lowell and Lara are both chem and graduates from UP Los Banos and also registered chemical technicians. Okay, so kami apat na maghahandle ng review ninyo and we hope na marami kayo matutunan mula sa amin para sa board exams na ito. Okay, now, if you're familiar with our Facebook page, you might see this ad na nakalagay ay online hybrid. Hindi kayo kabilang dyan kasi physical ito. Okay, so kayo ang uh, nag-iisang physical class namin ngayon. Hopefully, by August or September, we can push through with our physical sa hybrid classes naman. But for, for example, may kakilala kayo na hindi taga rito, gusto mag-review, malayo, pwede silang mag-take ng online classes. So, ang tawag naman sa section nila, 4B. So, yun. Kasi may ongoing enrollment kami para sa online and hybrid sections namin for CAM, CAM and CAM Tech. So, lucky kayo kasi kayo yung makikita kami ng buo. Ito yung buong physical 
na-review natin. Okay?